You are listening to part 3 of the podcast series, 15 Laws of Growth. The law of awareness says you must know yourself to grow yourself. James Russell Lowell, in your notes, no one can produce great things who is not thoroughly sincere in dealing with himself. What a powerful statement that is. You and I need to become aware of who we are and we need to know what our passion is. We need to know what our purpose is. When people talk about themselves and trying to find themselves, I immediately talk to them about what is your passion? What is your purpose? Let me kind of walk, walk you through this kind of quickly of, of how, to, how to figure this out because this is so important in your awareness. The first question I would ask you about your passion is do you like what you're doing now? Surprisingly, the majority of the people when I ask them that question say no. And this amazes me. I'll be just having a conversation. Hey, do you, do you like your job? You know what, most people say they don't. And sometimes they'll even look at me and say, well, you know, I don't really care for my job. What, what, what would you advise me to do? And then they don't like my advice because when somebody tells me they don't like their job, I just immediately say, well, I'd quit. I have no idea. Now, please, maybe some of you can help me in the audience today. I have no idea why somebody would do something every day that they didn't like. I, I, this is beyond me. Why would, a person, why would a person go and do a job that they don't like and complain about it all day and call it life? And to be honest with you, I don't want to work beside them either. Because it's bad enough for them to be miserable in their doing, but when they're miserable what they're doing, guess what they do to you? They make you miserable. Haven't you ever, haven't you ever just been beside miserable before? You know what I'm saying? You kind of felt good, but by the end of the day, you felt bad. And you said, well, what did I do to feel bad? You sat by that person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when people say, well, I don't like my job, what, what kind of advice do you give me? This is an IQ test. Quit. Why, why would you, I, I, I'm still, it's beyond me. Why would you every day do something? You, I mean, what is your passion? And yet I know people who literally spend their whole life, no wonder people look forward to retirement. They, they can hardly wait to get out. It's almost like prison. They, they're going to be free at last. The second question is what would you like to do? Because there is a relationship between finding your passion and reaching your potential. That's a fact. What would you like to do? So, so you gotta ask yourself, you gotta ask yourself, what would you like to do? Because when you find what you'd like to do, that ignites your passion, and when your passion is ignited, that begins to increase your potential. That's when you start moving up the potential ladder. Question number three, can you do what you would like to do? That's a great question. Because some people are very passionate about doing something, but they're not any good at it. Now, if you're not any good about the thing you're passionate about, you don't wanna make it a career, you wanna make it a hobby. When you're ready to find your passion and your purpose, you gotta ask yourself, can I do this? There are just some things that you can't do, and, 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 and it's not bad, it just, you just have to face reality. And, 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 and it's, there, it's, it's like watching the tryouts at American Idol, when they, when they, with passion, get that microphone and they start belting out songs off tune, and everybody in the country's hitting the mute button. And the question I always have when I watch them is I, I see that and I think, dear God, where are their friends? Shouldn't somebody come up to him and just say, could we talk? You can't sing. Why are you doing this? Question number four, do you know people who do what you would like to do? This is very key because when I settled in what I wanted to do, I went and looked for the most successful people. It's the story of me giving $100 to the pastors that had the largest churches in America for 30 minutes of their time. And when I was given $100 for 30 minutes of their time, at that time I was in Hillham, Indiana, and I was making $4,100 a year. I didn't even make Lyndon Johnson's poverty program. But I was so desirous to learn. I was just so desirous to learn. I know it was way out of bounds. 100 bucks was way... I, I did it. I had to learn. Question number five, will you pay the price 
to do what you want to do. So many people don't reach their potential because it's a price issue. They're unwilling to pay it. Number six, when can you start doing what you'd like to do? And here's what's wonderful. If you have something that you would like to do, but you aren't doing it now, what's wonderful is you, 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 you can start. You can, you can get going. You, you may not be able to get the job yet, but, but you can start. You can, people come to me all the time and say, John, I would like to, I would like to write a book. What, how, how should I get started? And I say, well, this is going to be a little more simple than you're ready for, but if you'd like to write a book, the way you get started is start writing. I, I know that seems a little basic, but books don't write themselves. Get a pen, get a paper out. How about a sentence? Start there. Get going. That's what, that's what this law is all about. Understanding yourself, understanding your passion, knowing what your purpose is, and say, now that I know who I am, I'm going to now know how to grow myself. 